Hey, this is Ryan from Extreme Tech, and I have here a Nexus 5 running the developer preview of Android L. And we're just going to take a look at what Google is doing in this new version of Android. Obviously, this is far from final. Uh, it's pretty buggy. There are a lot of apps that don't work. Uh, so you only want to install this if you're really interested in seeing uh, what Android is going to look like in a couple of months. So this is the lock screen, and then uh, you can get to the dialer uh, or the camera from this now. And then you've got uh, notifications here on the lock screen, and you can launch them uh, by tapping, uh, or you can just unlock by swiping up. And this is what the home screen looks like uh, in this version of Android. It's uh, it's pretty familiar. It's not um, it's not a huge departure. The icons are a little bit different, uh, but if you uh, look it down at the bottom, you'll you'll see these um, the navigation buttons are quite a bit different. And if you swipe down you get the new notification uh, look. These are these are cards and they will actually stack if you have a lot of them and then they, they can still be expanded as usual. Uh, and then quick settings is a lot different. So it's just right up, you just, you just pull down again to get to quick settings instead of uh, a two-finger gesture or hitting a button. So you've got a lot of, I mean all these icons are different um, and then you've got the brightness control right up here and there's a cast uh, cast screen button in there by default. Um, it doesn't work yet. I mean, it doesn't work in the current version of Android, but it's supposed to work in Android L. So uh, it's just, you know, developer preview. Stuff is broken. Um, something uh, particularly interesting, there's a new uh, notifications option here, and this turns on uh, Do Not Disturb mode, which is new for Android. So you can decide how long uh, you want that to, to last. Um, and then there are settings to determine, you know, what it what it blocks, what kind of notifications. So that's pretty cool. Um, and when you're done with uh, with that, you can just close notifications normally. Um, so there are some some worries that maybe Google was de-emphasizing widgets in this version of Android, but they are still here. Um, I haven't found any way to turn on lock screen widgets though, so I think they might have done away with that feature, uh, perhaps unfortunately. Um, most of the Google apps aren't updated for the new material design interface. Um, a few of them are just sort of as a demo. Uh, one of them is the calculator. So you can see it's got the, you know, the blue status bar up there. It's got this green pullout and uh, the, just the, the animations when you interact with the screen are a lot more uh, immediate and, and sort of visceral. So it makes, you, it makes you feel more connected to what you're doing on the screen. Uh, Google's really stressing the speed of, um, of of the animations and the UI in this version. So setting, oh, pardon me, settings is also quite a bit different now. So you see, it's uh, no longer got that black UI. It's all all bright and and white. And there's this new uh, animation when you get to the edge of a list. This is a good place to show it. Actually, before you can see it up here, before Android would just uh, in KitKat, it just had this uh, white glow, which I guess fit with the color scheme, but you couldn't really see it in a lot of apps. I mean, anything that was white, you just couldn't tell when you got to the end of a list. So they changed that, um, and all of these uh, all of these menus are completely restyled. Um, the battery menu. Uh, this is not the one that Google showed at I/O. Presumably, a new version of this will come. I mean, it, it, it has been skinned to match the UI, but we don't have any of the new features. But then there's also a, a battery saver in here now that you can turn on, uh, and you can have it automatically turn on when battery is to a certain uh, a certain level. And you can also tell when I when I tap on on items here, it has that same sort of immediate animation and the. The animation, it actually triggers from the spot that you tap. It's pretty interesting, actually. Um, it's kind of fun to just play with. Uh, it, that'll probably get old eventually, but this is still brand new. Um, bleeding edge software. So if you want to, uh, to play around with this, Google has posted the images for the Nexus 5, that's this phone, and the Wi-Fi Nexus 7, uh, the 2013 version. So um, that's all I've got, guys. Thanks for watching.